In this question, we're given the transverse function, h of z, of a system, and we're asked for the step response. Now, the step response is the output when the input is a unit step. So, what we're asked for is to find s of n. And s of n is simply y of n when the input is a unit step. And because we're given the transfer function, we can simply write the output in the z domain as y of z is the transfer function multiplied by the input in the z domain. So our unit step here corresponds in the z domain to z over z minus 1. So x of z is simply z over z minus 1. h of z we're given in the question. So that's z plus 3 over z minus 3. So that is my output. That is my step response. But it's in the z domain. So what we want is y of n. So we need to look this up in the Z-transform table. Now, there's nothing here that looks remotely like this. So we're going to have to use uh, partial fractions to split this up. So I can write this as Y of Z over Z equals Z plus 3 over Z minus 3 z minus 1. And then I can split that into partial fractions. z equals 3. That gives me 2a equals 6. So a equals 3. And I can take z equals 1. So minus 2b equals 4. So b equals minus 2. Now I know a and b. I can put these back here. And I can say y of z equals 3 times z over z minus 3. So this z is that z there when you multiply it by z. Minus, because of the minus sign, 2z over z minus 1. Now the final step is to find the inverse Z transform of that. So we simply use the table. So we look up this and that in the table. And here they are. So these are my two terms. So it's simply 3 times 3 to the power n, u of n minus 2 u of n. And we could leave that as our final answer, or we could simplify and say that that's because we've got 3 and 3. We can say it's 3 to the power n plus 1 minus 2 u of n. So that is our final answer. We found the step response by finding the output when the input was a unit step. So here we set the input as a unit step, but we did it all in the z domain.
And then the last step was finding the inverse set transform.